Welcome to the Reef Conservation Education Program video tutorial of the components of the grant application. This video will highlight the slide room online grant section 5 budget explanation. One of the nice things about the Reef CEP program is there are just a few items that are not eligible for funding, which provides the greatest amount of flexibility for projects. Some of the examples that you'll acknowledge in the application are one, office and personnel equipment, like your computer or an LCD projector for a conference room. Yes, those might be items needed to be successful in your project, but those are items that you or your organization should be providing for you. Those office and personal equipment items. A second area is construction, renovation, and remodeling uh, are not eligible expenses for us. For example, if your project is for signage, we know probably at some point you're probably going to have to dig a hole, put some concrete in it, and uh, hang up, put a sign in it. Buying the shovel and the concrete is part of the construction activities and can be provided by your organization. But on the flip side, you know, if you were doing a geological exercise with fourth graders and you needed to buy 20 little mini shovels and brushes for them to be part of the project, that would be considered a supply, a shovel. So two different examples of a shovel when it would be more construction, renovation, remodeling versus part of your project and supplies needed for it. A third area is outside of Iowa travel expenses. And then kind of unless approved by the board. And we'll say there are a number of times that we border our, our state with other areas that are, are needed. For example, Omaha, the Quad Cities, and other areas where potentially you know, opportunities lay there. Many times it's make sure you just explain what the justification is in your application. So predominantly, we're not going to send people to Florida to learn how to plant a tree because that sounds wonderful. We probably do that closer to home. But there are going to be opportunities and, and times when maybe a bordering state has an opportunity that's going to be great for this project. Just make sure you justify it within your application. A fourth area is developing outdoor classrooms, kind of like the seeds, the rocks, the fencing, the tools, the bulldozer, all those different items that are going to help develop an outdoor classroom. The REAP CEP program is not uh, an eligible uh, expenditure for outdoor classroom. There are other REAP grant programs that could address that. Another area is land purchases. That's this program uh, does not allow for that. So, so land purchases are, are not acceptable or an eligible expense. And then the last area is administrative costs that are in excess of 10%. Um, so we ask for people to show their documentation. Many folks utilize a, a service, a university, an organization, an association, maybe to run their money through or um, do the accounting side of it. And they usually have some type of rate that they charge. And we this program provides up to 10%. So let's say if the university charges 28% for their standard fee um, um, and that they're given a discount to make it only 10% or you found other ways or alternative ways to cover the other remaining percentage that the REAP program does not. So they'll cover up to 8 or 10% of administrative costs and then you're responsible for finding other ways, getting a discount or other partners to be able to do that. If you do get a discount or have other options, make sure you just document that and show that as in-kind or, or other financial revenues that you have to cover those costs. As we go down the form, there are going to be each one of the categories for you to complete, asking how much do you need for REAP to cover, how much do you already have in cash or in-kind or other contributions, and then what that total is, and then providing a narrative option for you to explain for each one of them. That'll go through travel, uh, personnel, supplies, technology, and then an other column for you to be able to break down that information of your total request into the different categories. For some of your categories, you will only need re-requested funds and you won't have any cash or any kind or other contributions. Other times you won't need anything from REAP contributions, but you have some cash or any kind that you want to demonstrate and show and then be able to explain that in each one of the different categories. For personnel, it could cover salaries, fringe benefits, could be contractors. Just show the calculation of those rates and include them in your information of how you come up with that, that, that those topics. For travel, 
You know, suggested rates are averaging the federal and state of Iowa reimbursements at about 46 cents per mile and $86 for hotel rooms. Just show your calculations and justifications. Maybe a renting a larger truck that is pulling a trailer and it'll be a higher rate than a compact vehicle for tra transporting just one or two people. Again, just make sure that you show your information and be able to explain the project for you. For supplies, we encourage for supplies that are necessary for the grant project. That could be printing, could be binoculars for backpacks, could be mailing costs for advertising, graphic design, and other items that you obtain to support your project. For technology that is essential for the grant project, maybe like a map reading or GPS for your audience might be appropriate. But like we said earlier, an LCD projector for the conference room is not eligible. For the other category, this is a catch-all for items. Um, they are necessary expenses such as maybe stipends to attend training sessions, fees for use of facilities, could be the administrative costs um, that to run your financials through an entity, often maybe with the university or something with like F&A costs. This is not an area though for just a buffer for funds, like a miscellaneous. So if I ask for $10,000, I'm gonna factor in like an extra $1,000 just in case buffer. Um, everything needs to be accounted for and justified through the application. But the other category kind of catches all the different things that weren't covered in personnel, in travel, supplies, or technology. In each of the categories, you can add a narrative for how you calculate and justify the REAP funds requested along with the cash and in-kind contribution. Make sure you consider like volunteer hours, cash, service discounts, etc. Show the engagement from your community to help you be successful. Recognizing the contributions aids the board to see the bigger picture of your project. Each category has a maximum number of characters, so if you feel that you need more to your summary, at the end of the application in portfolio, you can upload additional materials. There may not be a, a perfect location for each one of the items in the location. Sometimes paying for graphic services might show up under salary in the personnel area, or maybe you'll consider it a supply as a product you are receiving or purchasing. Or maybe you'll put it under other. The most important piece is listing the line item and justifying the needs for the project. At the very last portion of the budget section is a partner support letter, the ability to upload and attach items for, your, for you. This could be emails, this could be letters, this could be other items supporting your project, making a contribution, or just other documentation. There is an option to upload one document into this area as supporting materials to your application. If, if you're unable to combine your various documents into one format, that's all right. Again, at the end of the application is an option under portfolio to upload additional electronic documents as supporting materials to your application. Along with every time, you're able to have the auto save feature saving along as you type and build items, or in the upper right hand corner, you can save and exit and come back to this at a later date and time. When you do come back, it'll describe and share which areas that you have accomplished and achieved with the green check marks along the way on the side for you. And of course, at any time that you might have questions or needs, especially with this section, Budget usually has the most questions about it. I'm available to assist and help. Just reach out as you need it. Have a good one.